Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we have even more leaks to go over for Pokemon Legend ZA, returning Pokemon and the shiny sparkle sound is back. We also have a Pokemon Home update happening tomorrow and as well as that there's a few other things to break down. There's a lot of stuff to get into today. If you're excited for the video make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new, ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, just a quick update regarding Pokemon Home. We are getting a maintenance update tomorrow. We have Cerebi here tweeting out saying, Cerebi update, Pokemon Home is to be under maintenance from midnight to 10 a.m. UTC tomorrow on October the 16th. Uh, the mobile version will then be updated to version 3.2.2 following uh, that maintenance. Again, I think it's just your normal scheduled maintenance update. I don't think it's going to be anything crazy. Um, obviously, there are the there are the slight chances that we do get data mines and stuff whenever there's a Pokemon Home update, but I, I highly doubt anything's going to happen in, regarding, uh, in regards to this tomorrow. If we're going to get any official Pokemon news, then it will come from Pokemon themselves. If we get any leaked information, it will come from the leaker who literally has the game right now. So that's the Pokemon Home update that I quickly wanted to go over. We'll, we'll keep an eye out for it. Obviously, if anything happens tomorrow, I'll let you guys know. But either way, that's the Pokemon Home maintenance update. Just that it will be down for like 10 hours tomorrow. So if you are in the middle of doing anything for Pokemon Home, you will not be able to access it uh, tomorrow between those hours. So that's the first thing that I wanted to go over. Next up, let's take a look at the latest Pokemon Legends ZA leaks. And apparently these are going to be the last ones we get. Uh, that is what this leaker has said. Before today, they did say they weren't going to leak anything about the game. They've now come out and said this. So is it one of those things where it's, they're just going to keep giving us like crumbs of information like every day? Or is he actually just going to be like, no, that's it. No more leaks about the game now. And uh, this is all we're going to have to go off. Because if this is all we get... That's fine, because this is some pretty good information, especially for shiny hunters today. Uh, so obviously, I'm very, very happy about it. And I know a lot of people will. And it also doesn't ruin anything about the game. So that's always really, really good. So uh, we have got Century Leaks here tweeting out saying, Pokemon Legends EA Leaks Part 2. So the returning Pokemon that we know about is that Stunfisk is going to be in the game. Now, a lot of people will be like, well, why have they picked Stunfisk out of all the different Pokemon to tell us that it's returning in the game? And that's because they found a full odds shiny stunfisk which why which is why they now know that the shiny sound from pokemon legends arceus is back so that's confirmed the leaker has the game right now they've played all the way through it uh, they found that full odds shiny stunfisk we don't know about shiny uh, methods and stuff where the outbreaks return and everything like that they were just somewhere where pokemon spawn and they heard the deleting and then obviously they saw the shiny stunfisk so stunfisk is a returning pokemon and the shiny sound is back now, I don't know if that means that Galarian Stunfisk is also going to return. Usually when a Pokemon is in the game, their alternate form is as well, whether it's a Galarian form or an Alolan form, an Alolan form, whatever. But obviously in Pokemon Legends Arceus, we had regular Cantonian Ponyta, but then Galarian Ponyta wasn't in the game. So it doesn't guarantee that the form of a Pokemon is also going to be in the game, but we'll have to wait and see. But Stunfisk itself, unless they're talking about Galarian Stunfisk, I don't think so. I think they just mean regular Stunfisk. It is confirmed to be in the game and the shiny sound is back so that's that's obviously huge news we we're all a little bit worried that they weren't going to include that i was always hopeful because i'm i'm just kind of hoping that they're going to keep the same formula for pokemon legends arceus into pokemon legends ea and it looks like they are doing that to an extent now obviously this leaker has played through everything so they know whether all these different features are going to be in the game or not but it just doesn't look like they're going to leak anything else so uh, it also says the leaker says the game was very enjoyable even with the lag so that's obviously a positive. The game's very enjoyable. Again, that's just one person's opinion. This is probably the only person in the world that isn't working on the game that's played through it. And their opinion is that, yeah, they, it was a very enjoyable game. They had a great time, but it does have lag. Now, that, it, that could be because it's just an early build. Like, they are basically playing like a, a, a later stage beta because they did come out and say that, the game was kind of like done. The translations were basically done. Uh, there was just like 50% of the side quests weren't working and stuff like that. So it, it could be laggy because it is just a beta. Or it could be laggy because it's the same situation as Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Where in some areas it was just very, very laggy. And that's just because the Switch is not powerful enough to be able to kind of cope with the game. Uh, I'm hoping it's the first one that's just because it's a beta. But... It could potentially have lag. So it's a little bit worrying. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm hoping it's just because it's the beta. And then also, uh, Centro goes on to say the leaker is not planning 
to release any more details about the game. So again, they said that a couple of days ago. That was a lie because they've now released this. But I think that's just this is just kind of like overall information that it doesn't ruin anything, really. It just it's just something to get excited about. You know, this isn't going to affect whether you buy the game or not, whether the shiny sound is back. Well, at least it probably shouldn't. But it's not like they've leaked the final boss or the starters or mega evolutions or anything like that. It's just a very minute gameplay feature. But it's also a really good thing to know about. So I'm happy that they've told us this because we don't have to work. Because otherwise we wouldn't have found this out until the game came out. You know, this is one of those kind of late stage data mines that you won't find out until, like, say, you play the game. So very happy about that. And then Stumfisk, I don't know how many people love Stumfisk in this world. But if you do, he's in the game as well. So anyway, that is all of that. Uh, moving on, we do also have this quick update to go over as well. We've got Jan here saying, just saying, Stunfisk is found in Kalos Route 14 and 19. So Kalos Route 14 is the route directly north of Lumio City. So it does make sense to show up in Pokemon Legends EA. So I don't know if like the routes surrounding Legends, uh, uh, surrounding Lumio City are gonna be uh, like accessible. And again, we know that the game takes place in Lumio City, but the surrounding areas could also be known as Lumio City. So maybe you can go north, east, south, west, and the routes that were in Pokemon X and Y are going to be the routes in Pokemon Legends EA. Well, not even like routes, but like areas. And that's where you can go and catch these Pokemon. And that's why Stunfisk appears there. Because it does appear just north of Lumios in Pokemon X and Y. So maybe if that's true, we could kind of guesstimate the Pokemon that are going to be in this game. We just have to take a look at what appears in the immediate kind of vicinity of Lumios. Because there's obviously quite a few Pokemon that do. So maybe all of those will be in the game. Uh, and then the routes are totally outside of Lumio City. Makes you wonder if we are really uh, bound in or not. And again, I, I'm still kind of fixated on the idea that even though they say it takes place in Lumios, I think these areas around Lumios are also known as Lumios in this game. Which makes me also believe that it is going to be set in the past. Because obviously if it was in the future, it wouldn't be, they'd just be routes and stuff. So that's my two cents on it. But that it, it kind of makes sense as to why Stunfisk isn't in the game. Because it is literally right north of uh, Lumio City in Pokemon X and Y. Uh, so that's that. Moving on, I do want to quickly go over this as well. Uh, a couple of things just from Poor Elite here saying update on Pokemon Legends EA. Uh, so there is a current working build for a PC version that was obtained in the uh, the Game Freak leak. It is playable, which is obviously why this uh, this person is able to play all the way through the game and give us this kind of information. Clarification: only the leaker has it. It's not public, and they do not intend to share it. The playable version is on real hardware. There is a PC build, but it needs certain hardware for it to work. Uh, they then go on to say, uh, not aiming to spread misinformation. This is never the intention or goal. So, yeah, I mean, we know the leak has got it. They've already leaked so much stuff in this whole situation. So, um, yeah, that's just just food for thought that they are telling the truth. That's why we know that like this stuff is also very, very true because they literally are playing the game. If they wanted to, they could just upload like a ton of screenshots. Like, I, I, I don't know why they haven't. I don't want them to. But I'm also like just, I've got no idea why their morals are suddenly changing after leaking the personal information about all these employees. But it is what it is. That's the situation. I I don't know. I think we're going to get some more snippets because he's already said that they're not going to release anything else. But then they did. So I, I think we'll get like a couple more gameplay snippets. Maybe a couple more returning Pokemon here or there. Don't really know. Uh, but that's just kind of my two cents on that. Uh, so that's that. Uh, and then also there's, there's this going around as well, which I quickly wanted to just kind of uh, talk about. Uh, we've got... Andy Pokefan here saying many people already have this and are playing it right now. I won't be surprised if it leaks in a few days. This is not true. Uh, a lot of people are saying that this build is out there. The leaker is the only person with this game. Nobody else has it. They've not uploaded it. It doesn't look like they're going to. So if people are out there saying that they've got the game and they're playing it right now, they, they are lying. Again, a lot of images, screenshots and stuff are going to be coming out. But that is mostly all going to be fake. If it's not coming from the leaker, it, it, it's very much likely fake. People will be out there saying, I've got the game. This is like the starters. This is the screenshot. There's going to be so many leaks going around now, but they're all going to be fake. Like this is the only person, well, allegedly this is the only person that has uh, the, the, the Legends EA game. So I just want to quickly go over that as well. So that's that. Uh, moving on, we do also have some events to go over as well. Pokemon Go has announced Gigantamax. Uh, so we have Pokemon Go here tweeting out saying, breaking news, trainers, uh, Gigantamax Pokemon will be emerging in Pokemon Go on October the 26th to the 27th. Uh, and then prepare to unite and take on these super-sized challenges in max battles. They uploaded a trailer for it yesterday as well, uh, which is a really cool trailer. It shows a few Gigantamax Pokemon coming to the game, or Beetle, Charizard, 
toxicity, L creamy, stuff like that. It looks really, really good. Uh, and then this is obviously on the website here. So it says, uh, trainers Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise are making their Pokemon Go Gigantamax debuts. And these max uh, battles are unlike anything ever seen. It appears that these Gigantamax Pokemon can only be, defe uh, be defeated when enough trainers unite as a team. Reports indicate the groups of 10 to 40 trainers are able to defeat and catch these formidable power spot bosses. Uh, and then one thing is clear, these are the biggest challenges in Pokemon Go yet. Uh, and then get the latest findings on the Gigantamax uh, phenomena. So the debuts, obviously, on the 26th are Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise. And then if we go to the latest findings, uh, there's just like a whole page sort of just going over it all. Like, there's a lot of information, really. This is the uh, the main kind of point here, though. Gigantamaxing is a kind of Dynamaxing that certain Pokemon couldn't undergo. Pokemon with the ability to Gigantamax can be encountered, battled, and caught through max battles. They can be found at power spots throughout the map. Partner with your own Dynamax or Gigantamax Pokemon to defeat power spot bosses. Like with Dynamax Pokemon, you can use candy and max particles to unlock max moves and level them up for stronger effects. Working on max moves will reward XP too. Gigantamax Pokemon can learn up to three max moves, a unique attack, uh, max spirit, and max guard. And then while a Pokemon is Gigantamax, their first max move is a powerful G-Max move each species of Pokemon capable of Gigantamaxing has a unique G-Max move, which may uh, not be the same type as its uh, as its fast attack. Uh, and then more information as well. Like I said, this is all on the website if you want to take a look at this. This is a big feature though, obviously. Like, we've just had Dynamax and now Gigantamax is, is back as well. Uh, it says, any trainer with at least one Dynamax or Gigantamax Pokemon in their battle party can take on max battles. Up to 40 trainers split into groups of four or fewer can band together to increase their chance of success. Each trainer must use max particles to engage in the battle. The most, the more powerful the power spot uh, boss, the more max particles needed. Uh, but don't worry, max particles are only used at once you successfully take down the boss. So keep pushing towards victory. In a max battle, you just tap the screen to use fast attacks. Yada yada yada. Keep an eye on the meter. Swipe to dodge the power spot boss attacks. And then if you spot um, energy icons on the battlefield, swipe to move your Pokemon to collect them and fill up your meter even faster. If all of your Pokemon faint when battling, you can still help. You can tap the screen until you can cheer for your teammates, uh, well, which will then fill their meters as well. So it looks like it's going to be a really cool feature. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it's not, again, too far away. Only it's like 11, 10, 11 days until it comes out. So yeah, and these are the three that are obviously, and they can be shiny as well, which is also really cool. But these are the three that are debuting, and I'm sure they'll just start releasing more and more as the kind of... Uh, weeks go on and, and stuff like that but uh that's all the kind of Gigantamax stuff for pokemon go and then finishing things off for today's video uh, we've got don't go nintendo tweet here tweeting out saying pokemon streaming channel coming to pluto tv this month uh so this is obviously very very good because obviously they took down pokemon tv or like the big kind of streaming thing but now they're doing this which is even better because it like has all the seasons in one place we did go over this earlier on in the year but it's obviously very very close to uh happening now so this summer we got word of a new pokemon fast streaming channel which would allow viewers to watch through the bulk of the animated series for free. Uh, a fast streaming thing is just like, it's got everything, but it's also just got like ads. So it's free with ads, basically. Uh, at the time, we didn't have a clear idea of how or when we'd be able to access the channel. Now it seems that it'll be coming to Pluto TV later this month. So Pluto TV is one of the biggest ad-supported streaming services with a wide variety of channels featuring different kinds of programming. Uh, recently, they've been running promos advertising the Pokemon channel as coming soon. Though we still don't know exactly what day it's launching, it's been confirmed for an October 2024 window. So this month, you are going to be able to watch all the anime series in one place. Well, it's debuting in the US and then it's coming to other countries afterwards. But the channel will provide access to the first 22 seasons of the Pokemon series. So that's so that's just so good because it's just all in one place. You don't have to worry about going here for season 1 and 2 and then here for season 3 and 4 and then here for season 5 and 6. All 22 seasons are going to be on this, uh, on this kind of fast streaming service so that's really really good and after its us debut it should be coming to canada the uk australia and new zealand as well and then stay tuned and get ready to watch so i'm sure it'll come to more places as well after that i'm sure it'll come to like all of europe and and, and everything but uh yeah very very happy for that because it's just very it's just it's just nice having them all in one place but either way that's the streaming stuff that's the gigantamax stuff uh and then also that's all of the legend za stuff as well let me know your thoughts on everything we covered in today's video, though. What are your thoughts on the shiny sparkle sound returning, Stunfisk being in the game, and then also the potential that this game is going to have lag? A little bit worried about that, but I'm hoping it's just because it's a beta build. Uh, and then also Pokemon Home Maintenance. If anything kind of drops tomorrow in regards to this, we'll obviously cover it. But that's going to be everything from me. If you enjoyed, drop a like. Let's try it at 500. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time,
space. Thank you.